Hello everybody, I'm Pac-Man 5698. What's going on everybody, Pac-Man 5698 here with an update of an update of an update. The fourth video in my line of videos telling you all to oppose the Protect IP Act and Stop Online Piracy Act. And uh, before both of those bills, the uh, Bill S period 978, but of course we're not going to be mentioning that bill because it's pretty much been left in the dust. But now we have to focus on the Protect IP Act and uh, the Stop Online Piracy Act, which are both looking to censor the internet, make anybody who is found guilty of streaming copyright material online a felon, and pretty much just being, uh, being overblown, going way overboard, and censoring the whole web just for the little interest of a small little group, the Motion Picture Association of America and the music industry, which will end up shutting down um, this entire internet-based industry that could, and probably will, tribute a good amount of wealth to our economy. And the fact of the matter, as I said before, we're in a period of recession. We're starting to get better. In fact, we recently lost back what we lost in the summer crash of uh, 2011. Uh, I don't know if you uh, heard about it. You probably did, but uh, at the end of July and early August, uh, we lost a good portion of the stock market. But now we've recently gained that back, um, back up, and what we want to do is improve more on our economy. And it seems like the internet, I'm I'm looking at my computer right here. The internet is a great way to contribute to our economy with businesses such as Google, Yahoo, Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, uh, 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 did I mention, I think I mentioned YouTube already, but yeah, so all of these user-generated material websites would appear to get shut down and completely censored and even blacklisted on web browsers if these bills are passed because they are too broad, they're too general, they never mention anywhere what is the boundary between intellectual property and fair use, and it seems like this, the, the key word, the two words that were uh, essential to these bills were self-interest, because this was out of the greediness and the self-interest of the Motion Picture Association of America because they were shocked be, uh, because their entire industry is losing, is losing money at the box office. So basically, they decided to blame all of their uh, lost earnings on inter internet piracy, and they've sent many lobbyists to go to Capitol Hill and advise our lawmakers to make a bill out of what they think will stop piracy. But the fact of the matter is that my screen screen screensaver activated, but anyway, basically to tell our lawmakers, listen, we need to, need to stop online piracy, and you know what? If this if these bills would really end up stopping online piracy and doing nothing else, fine, go ahead, pass these bills. But the problem is that you're going way too overboard and you're censoring the entire internet, and because you're giving too much power to yourselves and to the government, you're basically going to have unlimited power to actually hinder free expression using copyright as an excuse. I mean, think about it. People could just send false copyright claims to ISPs and they would pretty much ban every website they had, um, they were for, they were told to ban, and have this whole crucible thing on the internet. Now, recently, what's cool is that a lot of you, I know many of you who are watching this, probably opposed these bills signed up petitions and, you know, wanted demand progress to set in. And the good news thing is that demand progress did set in. What's going on with these bills is that they're getting rushed through the House of Representatives. Uh, one is getting rushed through the House and one is getting rushed through the Senate. Uh, it, it looks like both of these bills may pass at the, be passed, sorry, excuse me, pass at the beginning of February, but demand progress has set in. In fact, there was going to be a rushed vote on these bills on December 15th, but luckily uh, it was delayed and, the, and Congress would not debate these bills until they adjourned from their winter recess, which is uh, January the 24th. But still, there's a likeliness that these bills will pass in their current form. If, so a lot of people were wondering whether or not changes were made to these bills. And the fact of the matter is that not one change has been made. Because, I'm not again, I'm not saying that everybody in Congress is supporting these bills. 
there are quite a bit of lawmakers, uh, re like representatives, congressmen, congresswomen. A lot of though, a lot of our lawmakers are opposing these bills, but there are still people who strongly support these bills that are saying, uh, you know what, forget it. We know better than everyone. Uh, we'll pass them anyway, you know, uh, just who cares. So, I'm not saying that everybody's like that, in fact, but I think every day, more and more people and businesses, including Nintendo and Capcom, over winter break, they've lost support of Soap and Pippa, and instead they decide to oppose them. And what I'm getting, and what I'm getting here is that one major, one major symbol of opposition to these bills comes in the form of another bill, which was proposed by Senator Wyden, which is already a good sign because Senator Wyden threatened that he would filibuster the government if it looks like these, if, if say for example, if it looks like these bills are going to get passed, he would say, no, forget this, there's self-interest behind these bills, I'm not going to let them pass, so what I'm going to do is stand in front of the entire governing body and read the names of everybody who submitted their name to me on the internet saying that they're opposed to these bills. So, yeah, be just because of the fact that he proposed this bill, that's showing that this bill is more down-to-earth, and what's even better is that Facebook and Google already are supporting this bill, saying this bill gets down to the point, is way better than Sopa and Pippa, and is a much better alternative. Uh, I, let me see if I can remember the name. It's the Online Protection and Enforcement of Digital Trade Act, or OPEN for short. I don't know why, why it's called OPEN for short, but I don't know. I guess calling it uh, OPA Dita didn't have a nice enough ring to it. But what it says here is that, excuse me, what OPEN says is that it will cut off money, cut off funds, cut off any form of currency that are going to websites, foreign websites, websites that are dedicated to counterfeiting goods. The key word there is dedicated because... <clears throat> Sorry, something's going on with my throat. <laughs> Hope I'm not getting sick, but the key word there is dedicated because, let me tell you, because this bill targets the shady piracy websites that are dedicated to streaming movies online, it seems that, and because Google supports this and Facebook, that YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, none of the websites that are so crucial to this internet industry are going to become targets because the main objectives of those websites is not to stream copyrighted material. Twitter is for updating status, Facebook is for updating social, um, updating social status, and uh, it's a social network interacting with friends, and YouTube is for promotion. Um, its own kind of entertainment, stand-up comedy. So it seems like this bill, it's getting to the point. There's no mention of charging anybody with felonies or blacklisting a website and giving extreme power to the government to the point where, you know, the entire internet would be uh, could be censored. And instead, it's just going after the websites that matter, the websites that are shady. You've probably seen some of these websites. Just go on your computer, look up free movies online, and you'll come across these websites. They're very shady. You can tell they're trying to access your personal information. In fact, I was scared. I accidentally once got redirected to one of these websites. I was worried that uh, it was going to install a virus on my Toshiba laptop. But, yeah, this bill, it's getting to, those, to the point, those websites are leeches. We don't need those websites because they're streaming, pi they're, they're piracy websites, they're taking away a good portion away from the MPAA and the music industry, so those can go, but crucial websites like Tumblr, MySpace, Facebook, AOL, Twitter, YouTube, all that other stuff, it's going to be okay. Bad news is that the MPAA, Motion Picture Association of America, and the music industries, as you would expect, they're opposing these bills, saying that this bill is not effective enough. It actually, they flat out said that it advocates, you heard me right, it flat out, uh, people who oppose this bill from the MPAA said that it advocates online piracy and that Soap and Pip are better because they're going to completely destroy any possibility of streaming copyright material. But the fact of the matter is that MPAA, 
they, um, the um, MPAA, they should all be grateful for this bill because it gets to the point, there's no nonsense, it's not going to destroy an entire internet industry, it's anti-piracy this time. It's not overboard, it's not anti-internet anymore, it's anti-piracy. And that's what matters. MPA, MPAA, if you want your profits to be regained, then, though, then a website such as those shady online piracy websites, those need to be taken down. Not Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter, because if you do so, you could, again, create a huge slope in the economy and stifle economic growth just because of self-interests. But still, although Open, Open is fairly new, uh, Soap and Pippa are fairly, you know, I, I bet a lot of people know about them, but, you know, there's still um, support for Soap and Pippa because of the self-interest of congressmen, congresswomen, representatives, and the MPAA, you know, with the bribes here and there, the shady thing, the corruption. But luckily, as I said, many congressmen, women, and representatives oppose these bills, but there's actually a scary quote from... Representative Lamar Smith, who is the head honcho of this bill, the person who introduced it, he said to most of the tech industry and the opposition against this bill, listen, your reasons aren't um, relevant enough, I don't, we don't understand your reasons, it doesn't matter, all of this opposition doesn't matter, we're going to pass these bills, which is laughable if it wasn't so frustrating, because the fact of the matter is that this opposition, it does matter. It's an entire industry, and if we shut this industry down, we're pretty much going to shut a good portion of the economy down. So basically, this quote from Lamar Smith shows that we have some people in our, co in our government that don't understand internet technology and would basically be screwing up their own country but again there's self-interest so you know it's it's sad but it's true but what's good is that again like I said before Capcom uh, I don't know if I said before uh, I don't know if I mentioned it yet but Capcom Nintendo and even this company called GoDaddy I don't know what GoDaddy is but they have uh, dropped support of Soap and Pippa, and instead they're opposing them. So every day there's more and more opposition. At least a million people have opposed these bills. I haven't gotten a recent update on them, but I will actually put a link in the description to, uh, go, um, to uh, oppose these bills, Soap and Pippa, and basically prevent the online censorship and crucible of the internet, okay? And... Another thing I'm getting back, if you want to support OPA or if you don't want, o um, sorry, OPA, open, if you don't support open, because again, what's sad about open is that although it's getting to the point, it doesn't really declare what is intellectual property versus fair use, transformative work, so it would be nice to see copyright uh, definition in that bill, but still, there's no mention of uh, going extreme, blacklisting, putting people in jail, and uh, ruining their lives, you know, throwing them in jail for five years, forcing them to pay at least $25,000 and making them unable to get jobs, at least normal paying jobs. So that I think is important. And a lot of corporations, including the EFF, uh, industry corporations, there are, actually, uh, there are a few corporations that are saying this is a much better alternative because let's face it, this completely some soap and pippa into the ground. It's not overreaching, it's not overgeneral, it gets to the point, and to be honest, it's actually going to prevent uh, um, online piracy more than Pippa and Sopa, which is weird because Pippa and Sopa, they're the overgeneral ones, so, but Open seems to, uh, you know, uh, be targeting piracy more efficiently. So, again, as I said before, uh, there's still a hefty amount of opposition, of opposition, but there's still a good amount of support for these bills, oppose these bills, and whether or not you support open or not, it doesn't matter, but what you, what you have to do at least is oppose Pippa and Sopa. Write your congressman, write, write your congresswoman, write your representative saying that I oppose these bills, these are ridiculous, and also it would be good to have a good amount of support for open because if we, the more we support open and oppose Sopa and Pippa, it's showing Congress that we do not in any way support Pippa and Sopa. We completely we completely hate these bills in their current form. Open is much better, and basically all hope by the average American citizen for SOPA and PIPA is lost. We support this new open bill, and you know what? This will stomp uh, this will stomp SOPA and PIPA into the ground. So if you support this, 
Uh, again, I don't know uh, all of the flaws. I know that it doesn't really state what is copyright material or what's not, but still, if I see some of the flaws, I may make an instant update if I realize I've been missing out on a, um, on a flaw. But still, uh, face the fact that Facebook, Google, and Senator Ron Wyden uh, support these bills, that's pretty uh, trusting because we have a bill that we already know is more down to earth and won't censor um, the entire internet industry and be screwing up jobs. So that's why I'm going to say, write your representative, write your lawmaker, and also I'm going to say, as I've been saying before, the MPAA has blamed this whole thing on piracy because they're losing returns at the box office. Why? Well, because for one thing, paranoia is one thing, but just the fact that they need, they should learn how to get with the times. Find out what's popular, capitalize off of what's popular. Instead of making all of these remakes with poor reception, a lot of these um, rushed out tween movies like Twilight, you know, I, I think MPAA could go out, could, uh, MPAA could go without uh, Twilight, these remakes, these rehashed sequels. I'm sounding a lot like DSP Gaming here, but he summed up all of this perfectly. But, you know, the MPAA, they need to get ahead with the times, they need to realize what's popular, and they need to make movies that they know people will pay money, uh, that people will pay money for. And I'm not saying that the MPAA is completely doomed. There are a lot of movies that, movies that came out recently that I paid money to see, and I liked. In fact, I have a, I have a How to Train Your Dragon poster in the back there. I liked uh, Captain America. I liked Thor. I liked, I loved uh, the movies in 2009. I watched Avatar, District 9, uh, Star Trek, and I'm prepared to see The Dark Knight Rises, Godzilla 2012. Patience could be another key thing, MPAA. Just wait, get some good movies, and you'll probably have big hits here, th here and there. I mean, Toy Story 3 that came out just last year became the highest grossing anime film ever. So just have patience and get to your good movies. Just go without these remakes and sequels and all of these, you know, tween-infested movies. So, yeah, that's what I would recommend to MPAA. It's not because, um, piracy has a role to do with it, but the portion of piracy that takes away profits from your entertainment, it's nothing compared to how much people are not wanting to go see your movies. But then again, many people may want to see a few of your movies, but then again, Get more ahead with the times, get real, and just make more movies that we know we would pay money to go see. So, what I'm going to say is that I'm not completely against the MPAA, I'm not against our government, it's just that, you know, there are troubles here or there, and we can actually um, conquer these troubles, and not everybody who's in power is for these bills. In fact, I bet there are a few people in the MPAA that don't want these to get passed, so... Still, support for these bills is still fairly strong, so oppose these bills. I bet you're glad that you heard about OPEN because it could be a nice alternative that can get Congress's attention away from SOPA and PIPA. So let's hope that these bills don't get passed and we have a safer and clean internet. I'm, pa I'm Pac-Man5698, signing out. Mm -hmm.